Hi guys, and welcome to this Model Engineers Workshop. Today in the workshop... No joke, it's the axle pump yoke. Hi guys, I'm the chef. Today we're going to be making the yoke for the axle pump. So of course a yoke is anything that is basically U-shaped. And in this case it comes out of this chunk of steel. I spent, I spent a few minutes squaring it all off a bit. Uh, you can see that's the manufactured edge. And of course, I think if I can just get this to focus right, you can just about make out, I've put a few scratches on here, so you can see there is a U just in there. This bit at the bit where my thumbs are is for it to hold onto in the, into the vise, whether it be flat, eventually it's gonna get stood up like this in the vise uh, for finishing off. And this needs just a few holes drilling in it first. I'm just going to put a hole through there. So we're going to center drill and then go through center drill and go through with the six and a half mil because eventually that hole is going to be reamed seven mil. I'm not going to seven millimeters. I'm not going to ream the whole thing through. I'm going to wait till it's finished and I can ream from both sides. It just has, they just have little bearings pushed into them so that this yoke, when it's running, it actually has a pin goes through here, which goes into the pump ram, the axle pump ram, ram itself. And this end connects to the eccentric on the uh, leading axle. I just have to look at the frames to work out which axle. So as the eccentric goes round at that end, you get this kind of rotary motion into a linear motion. So just to make sure that this is a little bit stronger than just a square corner, square corners are always weak. I'm also going to drill through there, I think you can just about make out the little crosses and marks I've put in there. Uh, a six mil hole, that's this drill, center drill on six mil so that we at least leave a little bit of a radius in that corner. That's totally fine because the original drawing called for this to be made out of 12 mil strip of a required length and heated and bent round a former basically. Well, I'm not gonna do that, I don't feel, don't want to do that. I'm not that good at that kind of thing. Anyway, this is more my scene. Mill it out from solid amount. I know I'm going to lose a bit of metal, but it gives me a chance to use this tool. It's the first time I've been, I'll be using it. I showed this in a video a while back, two inserts in there, and uh, I'll be able to hold this in. Once I've drilled that hole, then of course setting up on my usual zero zero on the corner of the vise, I'll then be able to up and down here a few times. And then I'm going to come across one and a half mil this way, because this is only 25 and the gap in there is 28. So I'm going to come across a mil and a half, go down and clean up that side. And I'm going to go across and do a mil and a half on the other side and mill up, clean up that side on the inside as well. Right guys, so that's the job for today. Got to mill out 12 mil of steel, but I should be taking off about a mil at a time. So it's 12 cuts. I'll get this set up in the vise. We'll get that hole drilled and uh, then it's into the vise, probably rest it on a couple of my rulers like I've done before, just to give it some support. Uh, doesn't need to be parallel or anything. This is just plain hogging it out and do all those two holes and then change to the big cutter and up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, which will be probably, you know, 30, 36 times just to, remember in the beginning, just to get rid of the middle bit and then smaller cuts just to, tidy up the legs of the U, the base being over here, uh, so that it all ends up six mil. These two legs end up both the same at six mil wide. This is 40. And then of course, it'd be a case of whopping this bit off with a hacksaw or on, on the bandsaw, probably a hacksaw. I don't think I've got enough material. Oh, I might have. Doesn't, might just have enough to, to hold this in the bandsaw, in the bandsaw, power, uh, power hacksaw. Whip that off, stand that up in the vise clean off the bottom so this bit is six mil and then we have an eight mil hole or rather an eight mil thread to put in the center both this way and in the thickness for the bolt that will eventually connect it to the pump eccentric right guys that's enough talking let's get this in the vise let's get set up let's get some machining done right bring you back in a tick guys okay so back in now at the mill and the mill vise there's the piece of bar stock Slight change of plan because of course, because I need to drill this hole all the way through, I've got it hanging out the vise a little bit so that at least there's a room underneath just for the drill to break through. So what I did 
use the DRO from the corner, of course. I've then come halfway across the thickness. This is 12 mil thick, so 6 mil. And I then just use the wiggler in the drill chuck, like I showed you a few videos ago, just to find my cross in the, in the lines here on the top. You can see the light reflecting off them. So, get the machine running, uh, put in a decent centre drill, change the centre drill to the 6.5 mil, and then just peck at it and just go down, 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 down. There's no point trying to drill this all the way, whole, whole thing through in one go. Probably going to jam it up with chips and end up breaking a drill. Right, up, guys, uh, it's going to get a bit noisy again as it always does, but uh, let's get this whole drill, shall we? There we go, guys. Drilled through. Right. I'll have to reset now, get this set up flat, and then I'll work out exactly where the holes are to go. Set it up, of course, with the usual zero zero on the corner of the vise. All right. Bring you back in a tick. Right. So, set up again. Got the zero zero on the corner there. I've come across nine because that arm of the U is six, and I've got using a six mil drill. So, after that, three, nine. I've come down 42 because the hole. Depth of the U is 45, we get 45 minus 3 this time, 42, and then of course the whole width of this is 44, minus 6 minus 3, brings us down to 
44 minus 6, 38 minus 3, 35. And then drill the second one. So it's going to be center drill, and drill that 6 mil, and then come across and go uh, center drill again, 6 mil. And then we'll start hogging this out. Right, uh, I'll drill the first one, skip through the second, and I'll bring you back once I get everything set up for hogging out all of this steel. All right, guys. All right, guys, that's it. Number one, I'll drill number two and get set up and bring it back. Okay, so the two holes have been drilled, as you can see. Changed to the big cutter now. You can see there a little scratch in the surface, little mark. So I've touched off. I've touched off on the end here. I've reset the DRO so I know exactly how far I've got to go. I've got to go 45 deep, which should bring me in line with the edge. This way closest to the camera at the bottom of those holes. This is going to leave me a little bit here where the holes match up but the next operation of course will be to then mount this whole thing pointing upwards like a tuning fork uh in the in the mill vise and then use the same this same cutter and just go zing 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 to take out those corners but of course i've got to hog on all of this first and then go over a mill and a quarter that way a mill and a half that way and a mill and a half this way to get the legs down to six mil i'll show you the first one and uh, then I'll just come back when we get to some, uh, the next interesting bit. All right, guys, here goes. Well, that was chattering a bit wasn't it but never mind it's taken a nice cut as much as you can see the lines that's actually not a bad finish right i'll bring you back when i hogged all of this out okay guys okay so i've just hogged all of that out these arms are now six mil thick as you can see here's the remains of the holes that i drilled to do the rounded corners this is going to be the basic setup now uh not touched off yet it's just posed for the video i'm going to move the camera out a little bit off to my left in a second so i can get to it then going to be a case of getting the machine running, touching off, 
going down until we reach the very bottom here. And then it's just a case of going sideways until such times we clean out this little bit, that little bit, and then over to this side and do exactly the same over here. So uh, I'll uh, just move the tripod to get you out of the way. And reset very quickly. Shouldn't take too much. There we go. And a bit more over here, I think. And then we'll just tip it back up. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Right, so I'll start the machine up, just touch off, move the work this way, and then just keep coming in this way, keep coming in, back out, raise the table, come in, and uh, we'll see how we go with that. There we go, starting to touch off. Kind of going to take small bites of this just so we get a nice clean up cut. Yep, almost there. Into slightly smaller cuts. This looks like it, guys. Yep, that's the bottom reach. Now I'm going to go just to the middle. And we'll move over very gently. There we are, we're just starting to touch on this side. And I'll just clear that. And then I'll just, again, nice little bites. Just taking out those last few bits. up a little bit. that side done. Right. I'll do the other side and uh, I'll put this on the bench and I'll bring you back then. Okay, so that's everything done. This is six mil thick, this is six mil thick. Rounded corners like I wanted. Uh, that hole's in place. Uh, I'm just taking off all the burrs. You can see the rounded corners there. 
uh, there's my little scratch mark to cut it off. I just tried this on the back power hacksaw. It's not going to hold. So I'm going to put this in the vise and come down there with the hacksaw. Uh, it shouldn't take long. This little nubbin of steel will go into the scrap shelf over there, over to my behind me and to my right. And uh, then it, I'll mount it in the mill vise that way. Clean that off. Drill and tap M8 in the middle. And then we just got a bit of rounding off on those corners to do just to make it safe. It's between the frames or locomotive. It could be razor sharp and it wouldn't make a hoot. But yeah, sometimes somebody, probably me, is going to put their hand up in between the frames to tighten something up or oil something and I'm going to snag myself. So we'll just knock those corners off, make it nice and smooth and clear. The drawing also calls for these ends to be rounded off, probably for the same reason. Uh, but I think I'm just going to, they're fairly smooth as it is at the moment. I'll just knock off some of the rough corners and leave it alone. And uh, right, so axle this off. Where's my line? Is it that side? Yeah, there's my line. Axle this bit off, or that bit off, whichever way. Yeah, and uh, get this in the mill vice, and I'll bring you back. Right, so axled off the excess, got it mounted uh, in the vice. I've got a little plate underneath this. This is this piece of the vice. You can just see where my finger is on the other side. Not quite wide enough, and the, gap, the legs of this won't span the gap where the, th the uh, thread goes through the vise. So we're a little resting on a little plate. This piece is acting as a pusher to really push it up tight against the fixed jaw. I've already touched off. You can maybe just see that little scratch mark there. So I'm just going to raise the table by about half a mil, do a cut across. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do. I'll only show you the one, and uh, then I'll get it down to size, and I'll get it back on. Well, then I'll go on to the next stage, which is then centering up in the length and the width and drilling and tapping for M8. But I'll bring you back once I'm ready to drill and tap. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take off half a mil just to see how, see where we're at. Here we go. So that's the first cut. Looks like I've got about a mil and a half to go, maybe two, just to get down to my line. But I'll bring you back once uh, I'm set up for drilling and tapping. Okay, guys, I'm away. Okay, guys, so that's this part finished now. And as you can see, I've just smoothed everything off. Put a bit of Scots uh, Emery paper and Scotch Bright over all faces. I've just taken the, uh, the corners off. There you go. And on here, rather than rounding it off, that's more than enough. It actually feels really smooth. It's really quite nice, very tactile. Okay. Uh, that's drilled and tapped M8. Thought I was recording it. Wasn't. I obviously forgot to push the button to record. Went to turn it off after I'd sent a drilled, tap, drilled and tapped. And guess what? The thing wasn't recording. Well, okay. Maybe a blessing in disguise. You've seen me drill and tap before. All right, guys. Uh, back in a tick. Righto, guys. That brings this video to a close. Another piece down, the axle pump yoke. That is three and a half, four hours work, including the machining down of the stock steel down to the right size that I needed. So uh, I'll close this video off now by saying, as I always do, if you can find it in your heart and soul, give me a like, a subscribe, and maybe even hit the bell just to get notifications. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, besides that, this is the chef saying, see you in the next one. Bye for now.